Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am showing some number identification and counting activities. These are very simple and fun activities which will be helpful for toddlers and preschoolers. The first activity, I have taken a printout of 1 to 10 numbers and I have laminated the sheet. I have written the same numbers on bottle caps. Kids need to identify the number and match the number written on the bottle caps with the number on the sheet. We can even make a dice game with this where kids need to roll a dice and match the same number with the help of bottle cap numbers. A zero is missing in the sheet. We can even add a zero over here. When kids can identify 1 to 10 numbers, we can move to the next step that is identifying the 11 to 20 numbers. I have written the numbers on a paper and I place the bottle cap numbers in a plastic X. It involves fine motor activity where kids need to open the plastic X and identify the number, find the number and match the same number. We can even hide the plastic eggs in different places in a round house and make a treasure hunt of numbers. Third activity is simple counting activity. I have taken a white paper and divided it into three portions and I have written numbers 1, 2 and 3. I have drawn plants and colored them green corresponding to the same number in each block. Kids need to identify the number count and place same number of flowers in each block. I kept this activity simple. You can even add more number of flowers. Next activity is one more simple counting activity where I have drawn different number of stars on white sheet. Kids need to count the stars and place the number. If you got any star countables or any other countables, we can even ask them to match. We can even make a tracing of numbers activity where we need to draw or dot the numbers and ask them to trace. One more counting activity is counting the number of fishes. Kids need to identify the number written and place the same number of fishes. This is my kid's favorite as he loves fishes. I have used velcro strips here. We can even make a color coding activity where we need to color each block with yellow, red or green. Kids need to count same number of colored fishes and match accordingly. Next activity is counting caterpillar activity. I made this activity using cardboard and white paper and bottle caps. I have drawn caterpillar with different number of extensions. Kids need to count the extension and place the same number of caps. You can make use of any countables which are available to you like pom poms or buttons. Kids can even color the body extension while counting. Next activity is apples counting. I have taken a milk carton sheet and on one side I have drawn different apples. Other side I have written numbers. I made a pointer using cardboard. Kids need to count the number of apples and point to the correct number. They can even draw a line from apples to their corresponding numbers. Next activity is also a fruits counting activity on trees. Using cardboard and construction paper I made two trees on a cardboard sheet. And mangoes and apples as fruits using some velcro strips. We can place any number and kids need to count and place same number of fruits on the trees. Or simply we can place the fruits on trees and ask the kids to count them and place the corresponding number. All these hands-on activities involve skit and also helps in developing fine motor skills. Next activity is based on a rhyme called Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. I have taken this printout from Todd Schooling. 
the rhyme goes as five little monkeys jumping on the bed where we need to put the number five in the block kids need to count monkeys and place them on the bed then one little monkey fell from the bed they need to remove one monkey and count the remaining monkeys and place the same number and this continues till the monkeys go to zero this simple fun activities helps in developing multiple skills in kids as they involve listening talking and using hands and they are also enjoyable and makes learning easy to the kids next activity 2 is based on a rhyme called five little ducks went to swimming one day i have used the rubber ducks here a sensorial activity can be made out of this that is by using a tub with water with some fake plants rocks gems and a fishing net The song goes as five little ducks went to swimming one day when the mother duck calls only four little ducks came back we can even read the book five little ducks kids can remove one duck using the fishing net all these activities helps in developing object and number correspondence it's easy to teach kids from real experiences and from nature kids will love observing copying and experimenting with their hands if you like the activities please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you